Hey everyone, what's up? This is a Raspberry Pi version 5. Uh, this is a really, really powerful computer. It costs about 100 euros and is often used in industry and by the makers community and so on. I wanted to find out how far I can get with that kind of uh, machine uh, in terms of creative coding and running design applications. I created a video where I just added together all the steps that are necessary to build a Raspberry Pi. I've installed processing on it and work with it and in this video you will learn how that worked. Check it out. First, the package arrived here in my studio. I ordered it from berrybase.de, which is a German Raspberry Pi store. So they sell these all these parts that you need. Inside of that box, there was a lot of stuff like the power connector, um, HDMI cable, of course, the housing of the computer, as well as a fan to cool it down. And of course, the Raspberry Pi version 5, which is this one here. After assembling this thing, uh, which was actually quite simple, it took about five minutes or maybe 10 or something, it was really, really fast. I connected it, I had to install the um, operating system, which is a Linux operating system that you have to install with an application called PyImager. I just installed that operating system to the SD card. And this is really strange because a Raspberry Pi doesn't have a real hard drive. It works from an SD card. Like this really tiny micro SD card has the whole operating system saved on it. And then I installed processing to see how that works. And I was pretty surprised how fast that, that went, right? Um, I wanted to check out if I can use or if I can run my collage design application on such a machine. And I just copied the code from my website, um, pasted it into processing. And of course, as always, I visited the most beautiful museum in the world, the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, which has an amazing online collection and uh, found some nice images of uh, yeah items from iran which inspired me a lot and downloaded it put everything into the sketch folder um, had to do some adjustment in the code and in the end the application went or worked i was really surprised that was really amazing like i i wonder is it possible to run a complete design practice on a Raspberry Pi. That would be really fascinating if that works. I'm pretty positive, I'm pretty confident that this is possible. Even though it won't be compatible with current workflows in the design industry, but yeah, doing design with Raspberry Pi is definitely a nice area to check out. Let me wrap this up. Limits are amazing. I love setting limits for my projects setting boundaries that's really the most powerful drive of my creativity really and it, it is not just valid for simple creative projects but also to very technical projects like using the raspberry pi which is a you know a terrible computer in some people's eyes <laughs> uh, for design and for developing creative work is an amazing boundary to work with what do you think? Would you try to work with a Raspberry Pi, even though the whole process is a little bit more edgy? What kind of benefits do you expect from it? Did you see any amazing uh, Raspberry Pi project out there? Just post them in the comments. Thanks and peace out. Bye.